Okay, guys, we will continue today with this topic of move orders, which I think is very important in calculation in general. I will put some rather light stuff, I would say. It will be easy for you. So uh, that's the topic of today, move orders part two, so to speak. Let's start with the game here with Dingley Rain with the white pieces, one of the best players in the world. Let's see something from Dingley Rain's practice. A very good pl player in tactics, of course, in any field. So here we go. I'll send you the quiz right now. You will have to send me the whole variation. Please notice that we're speaking move orders here. So there is only one possible move order, guys. I won't accept any second choice. So two minutes. Good luck, everyone. No, Greg cannot see your messages, uh, Google says. I'm afraid if you want to speak with Greg, send him a mail, whatever. Uh, but right now we're in the chess uh, uh, the chess session here, the training session. Um, one second. So somebody's trying to... All right. Uh, what happened here at Chess Ryu? Very fast. You should take some time to see if you can get this right. Uh, there must be some misunderstanding. Take your time, guys. Mm -hmm. Ding Liren took his time to find this, so you also have to take your time. So we have a lot of people playing like that. Okay, we will check this later. Maybe there is some nice idea. Um, all right. A lot of nice ideas coming up, but I cannot see the answer. I cannot see the solution, so to speak. No solution so far. Wow, surprising. Yeah, we have candidate moves, right? We have a few candidate moves. We have to ch check carefully which is the best move order. But OK, I will, of course, uh, check your moves. Don't worry. Uh, you will just have to remind me, and I will look into your moves. And we'll see. Maybe you can find something even better than what uh, Ding Liren played. But all those people who played that, well, that's surprising. Yeah, I think so too, Robo. That's an interesting move that you're saying. Let's see here. Chess Ryu, I played. Yeah, yeah, I know what you played. I can see what you played here. I know. That's the good thing about this great chessable <coughs> interface. You can see all the moves being played. But I cannot see, unfortunately, Ding Lorenz move here. It's a pity he's not with us today. He would have found it for sure. Okay, time's up. Let's check the answers here. Let's check the answers. We have a lot of people saying bishop takes e6. A lot of people saying knight c5. We had one person saying rook c8, and we had some timeouts also. So let's see here. Let's go one by one. If you said bishop takes e6, I guess I'll play queen takes e6. What was your idea? To play me knight e5, maybe? All right. I guess knight e5 and, well, yeah, I'm not Ivanchuk, but uh, I guess Ivanchuk would have played here queen e7 in this game. Can I still survive, or am I dropping some piece somewhere? Uh, slightly better for for white. Yeah, agreed. White is better. That's That's clear. But okay, I can always get back the rook. I mean, if we speak tactics, I think I'm still in this game, right? Uh, careful, I might have some trick here also. I don't know, at some moment. I'm not saying now, no, but I'm just telling you just in case. So I think we should look for something better, okay? And unless somebody would like to send some proposed proposition here, some move for white, I think we should continue. So. It's positionally horrendous. Yeah, maybe, but uh, what do you prefer? Uh, positional grip, uh, better position, or just win the game? Uh, I prefer to win my games. So let's let's check again. Knight c5, we had this very interesting uh, suggestion. I'm not completely sure I'm following here. If I take on c6, I guess your plan was to take on e6, and now you want to mate me. I guess that's the idea. So if I play king g7, am I allowed to play king g7? Just let me know if I miss some tactics today. It's, yeah, you know, at my place it's 6 o'clock and I had a whole working week uh, on top. So I'm not in the best shape here. But I cannot see how you're mating me, uh, guys. I cannot see. All right. What else here? Rook c8, some people were saying. But I, I must say this is slightly off topic, uh, this move. Uh, I mean, black can perhaps go for the end game. I don't know if I'm also I can, uh, I can take here, maybe? No, then you take there. OK, nice thinking. I don't remember who was who said it. But OK, I get the point. My queen is overloaded. So nice thinking. But I can play something better, probably. Make an, I can swap the pieces there. I don't know. This end game, what do you think? It looks playable for black, don't you think? I think white should keep the queens on to, to keep some pressure. Now, oh, queen takes a four works, says Titan Chess. Oh, Titan Chess, sorry, I didn't see that. Okay, queen takes a four works. Well, bishop takes e6 looks a bit scary, doesn't it? Something here. 
Are you sure, Titan Chess? Did you check those variations? I think I prefer my solution. Uh, I prefer my solution just to swap the pieces. I feel that somehow my king is weak, so I'm happy to swap queens also from a general strategical perspective. I guess what we should do here, guys, it's what I do sometimes when I work with, uh, you know, little kids. I just give them a second chance. So I'll give you all a second chance here. That's the way we will work this out. So here we go again. Please check very carefully your move order. Remember, there is only one correct move order, but we should know that Ding Li Ren duly found this in the game, so I'm sure that you can also find it. All right, two minutes. Don't play what you did last time, by the way. <laughs> no, but don't play the same thing, because then you will not succeed, okay? Think about the possible move orders here. Oh, I thought this was the most easy one of all my exercises today. It doesn't seem like that. Mm-hmm. Okay, we have a winner. I feel great. Hong Pao, congratulations. That uh, makes me very happy. I can see that it was not impossible for you. Great work, Hong Pao. Greg Shahid, another winner. We have two winners here. That's nice. It was the second attempt, but okay, doesn't matter. The important thing is to find it in the end. All right. Let's see if someone else can find it. We have Hong Pao and Greg Shahid among the winners. We have a big group here playing positionally on the king side. I like that approach, of course. That's second best shot. Aha, we have some people playing e4. That's a crazy move. Does that work, really? Rook c7, speaking about crazy moves. Oh, how can you play rook c7? We have two people saying rook c7. I don't think that's possible, guys. So, um, time's up. I think we will first ask Hong Pao for the solution. Aha. We'll ask Hong Pao for the solution. So, everybody, please listen to Hong Pao. What Hong Pao found that nobody else except for Greg could find. So, please go ahead, Hong Pao. The board is yours. Okay, so here I played rook takes d6. Okay, I must take back. And bishop takes e6. Now, if oh. f takes e6, again, g, uh, g6 is hanging. Nice, nice tactic, right. Let's see, just just for the sake of clarity, Hong Pao, please continue. You have the pawn, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, I must king the, move the king somewhere? I don't know, king h8, maybe? I mean, I can take a lot of pawns. You can take a lot of pawns, and you're not even material down here. So, yeah, and at some point I'll be able to play like knight c5 or something exactly. like that. Exactly, I agree with you completely. This looks horrible for black. I mean, if the other position was horrible, look at this one. Hanging on e6, some thing here. The knight can also be redirected and so on. Okay, and the other variation, please, uh, Hong Pao, if now, I black take with the queen. Now, queen takes e6. Um, I have queen c7 fork. That's right. Black has to take on a4. Sure. Uh, oh, sorry. I should play the black pieces. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Please, go, please continue, Hong Pao. And this is the last detail, no? The last little bit. And I have made yeah. on the back rank. That's right. I can give check, but of course, you won't go to G2. You escape uh, my mate, and you will give your mate most power. So nice. Uh, great work. Congratulations, Hong Pao. And also, congratulations, uh, Greg Shahid. That's excellent work. And to all the rest of you, congratulations also, because you put in some good effort. You didn't find it, but. I guess some of you were very close. So, very nice little combination, no? It's not so easy to see this topic. You know why? Because we're looking a lot at the king, and perhaps we forget that also the black rook is sometimes exposed here. Just for the record, h5 was an interesting move that some people were saying, I like this move very much. It's probably very good as well. I'm not sure what to play against uh, h5. Um, I don't have any trick with knight. I was, I was hoping to play like this, but I don't think it works, right? What do you think? Knight takes... You'll take here. Just let me know when I'm blundering here. Knight takes a two. Am I blundering something? You will take here. Yeah, I blundered, no? So you should win the game here. Still, there are some pins, no? I don't know what that means, really, in this particular case. But, yeah, it looks very messy. So probably I should just play something else here after g5. I guess I must play some defending move. I don't know if I can play g5, and maybe we can play the same thing again. The same thing with, I mean, with what Hong Pao just showed us here. With rook takes, uh, rook takes d6, right? Maybe this also works, so... Maybe h5, I could give you half a point for that. Maybe I should play the ugly move. You, you know, that's an interesting subject. Maybe I should play the ugly move simply here. G takes h5 and, and hope uh, I don't get demolished on the king side. Okay, we have a variation here by Egmo. Egmo says that after h5, king g7, pawn takes, pawn takes, knight c5. Okay, but that's not so difficult to see. I, I see what you mean. It's a pretty variation to take here. Yeah, definitely. So you're right. This is probably troublesome for black. Uh, I don't have this move, right, do I? Rook takes. This is just too crazy. 
I was hoping to have some tactics there later on. But okay, we're slightly off uh, topic. Most probably H5 is a good move as well, but none is as good as what Ding played here. The very nice little combination, we take on D6, so that after they take with the queen, we can take on E6, and unfortunately, they don't have a good reply here. If F takes, we take on G6, and if they take on E6, like Hong Pao said, we have queen C7. All right, very nice, let's continue. So what if I uh, bring something little, little simpler? Let's put something simpler then, because this appears to be very difficult. Let's see here. All right, what do we have here? White to play and win. White to play and win. All right, here we go. Let me add the moves. And we will see if you can carry out this with the only correct move order. There is only one good move, move order, so that's the one that you have to find. Okay, two minutes. Good luck. This is an old game. Sax, Hungarian Grandmaster Sax with white pieces against Rogul. And Sax, he did in, indeed find this. Let's see if you can find it as well. Oh, pawn sacrifice, you were very close. Tori Chess, you got a first move, but the second one. Oh, Tori Chess uh, was close, but pawn sacrifice was extremely close. Jake, you were close also. Egmo, close. Some people were not that close. Pawn sacrifice, Henry, Airsword, and awesome. Awesome Owen were, was also close. Aha. But nobody played of move number four, which is very important in this whole variation. So many of you were close, like I'm saying, but some of you are missing the point. Okay, Greg Shahade, we have a winner here. That's great news. Excellent. A Titan Chess also found it. Nice. We have two winners here, Greg Shahade and Titan Chess. That's excellent. And we have a lot of uh, people who were close also. This time, many of you found the right first move. Aha, but it was impossible to see the whole sequence. And that was managed by Titan Chess. So please shoot Titan Chess. I'll give you the white pawn here. Please execute the variation. Uh, so the first move is knight f7 because that square is very poorly defended by the black Sorry, if, I, if I take with the king? Uh, if you take with the king, then you can take on e6. Uh -huh. And then after rook takes e6 and queen d7 and exactly seven, yeah. then you just take this rook. You're completely right. So let's see here the more critical variation which was played in the game. In the in the game after the move, knight takes f7, they played here queen takes f7. Uh, so we continue some moves, but now we uh, we can give this back link check. Sure. And after the knight blocks, um, you would think that white's just lost here because there's no rook in one, but. Actually, uh -huh. the traps the rook, which is really funny. Exactly. And do you think it's important to play this uh, now, or maybe we can just uh, first take on e6? Does that make yeah, it? Yeah, that sense? doesn't work because black has queen b6 there. Exactly. The queen goes to b6. So it's actually important to play it this way. And maybe, just maybe, like uh, Titan Chess is saying, this is like a funny tactic. And perhaps we were more focusing here on how to work on the. Uh, on the pin, I mean, on, on the e6. So we would love to play move like rookie one. That's what we would imagine. I mean, even when calculating the whole variation from the very beginning, we're looking at that kind of moves to work on the on the pin because that's what our pattern recognition tells us to work on this because that's the actual topic here in the position. However, the move queen b8 is, <laughs> of course, the winning move, and we just maybe we could forget about this idea. Well, Titan Chess and Greg Shah, hey, they didn't forget about it, but maybe the rest didn't simply notice. I saw this, but I missed queen b8. Yeah, I think a lot of people did that. What do you play after rook d1, says Jay the Beast. Well, what do you play after rook d1? That's your move, I guess. After knight f8, you want to play rook d1. Well, let's see. How can we defend black here? I guess I'm with b5 or something to bring in the rook on this side. Do you have a concrete threat here? What is, what is your threat? Do you threaten to rook d7? No, I don't think so. Okay, I, on instinct, I would play b5, but... Um, B5 still, queen B8, but then I can play C5. Or, oh, I'm hanging the... Okay, I see what you mean. You can take and take here. Okay, okay, good point, good point. Um, so I'm not uh, able to defend here, you mean? After rook D1, silent move? If I unpin uh, myself, does that work? King H7, maybe? But then you can play the same way, but I can take with the queen and I will protect on B6. King H7, let's try. Let's try King H7, just to see what happens, I mean. Maybe I'm lost anyway, but I would try to defend here. Well, I don't know. Would you play now queen b8 anyway? Oh, you... I don't know what's going on, guys. You have the sharp tactical vision. I, I'm not. 
the one. Queen h5 maybe, funny move. C can I defend in that way? Or I'm hanging something here also. To be honest, I lost control here. I, I feel that white is winning after queen takes and maybe there is this check coming up also. So anyone with a better tactical vision? Oh, queen e8, thanks uh, to Egmo. Egmo, you're right, that's the right move, of course. You're, that's a very good point. So we should be okay here. We can then move a rook. Yeah, maybe we're a pawn down. Oh, we are much better, says Ryo. Uh, who is better? You mean white is better because they have an extra pawn. Okay, but in the other variation, you're winning. So, I mean, if we compare this in relative terms, the other op option must be better. This is, of course, better for white, a pawn up and a strong bishop, but like I'm saying, everything is relative here. I don't know, what, what would I play? This is also close to winning. Yeah, it's close, but that's the word, right? Close. Maybe I can play something like, I don't know, I give check and I put the queen somewhere to, to harass you. Um, well, where, where would I put my queen? Queen f5, maybe, to avoid, but okay. Yeah, I, I agree, I agree. White is much, much better here. That's, that's true. Good team here, queen of bishop in this particular endgame. So that's also an option. Yeah, you're right. But of course, if you can win on the spot, that's much better. I mean, you get more rest for next round in the tournament and so on. So that's the right choice here. Knight takes f7, very pretty variation. Grandmaster Sachs, he duly noticed this rook takes. Queen d8 check and we just go and pick up that rook and you win the exchange, you win the game. All right, nice work. Let's continue. Now I'll put something, well, this is maybe too simple for you. Uh, okay, I'll put it anyway. We will have a mixed uh, level today of, of exercises. So this one will be a very, very simple one. I will give you just one minute to make it a more, more of a challenge on this one. No, not this one, sorry. Let's do this again. Here we are. Paste. And I will give you just one minute on this one, okay? Just one minute because I know that you're very fast with this. So here we go. Let's see who can find this very quickly. All right, here we go. I'm sorry, Troy boy, there is a problem with that variation. Okay, Cesario, Egmo, you got it. I'm sorry, Jay, the ball, I have a counter resource there. Jay the Beast, I mean, Angel, I have a counter resource. Good work, Cesario, Egmo, Greg Shahade. Tori Chess, I guess that's not the right way to go here. Uh, I can pick up that pawn later on, your pawn. I mean, Hong Pao, you got it, nice. We have so far four winners. All right. Uh, Mega Charge Rex, I'm sorry, bad execution. Good plan, but bad execution, just like. Troy boy. Uh, Sprite ball, JD Beast, Angel, Chess Knight, Robo, you have the wrong execution. I'm very, very sorry to tell you that. You're missing my little evil trick in the end. E4 and wins, you got it. Titan Chess, you got it. So, we have a lot of winners here. Nice. Did you found it quickly? That's great. Aha, you're right, Sprite ball. You managed to uh, refute yourself. That's, that's great. So, time's up. Let's uh, speak to Chess Ryu. Okay, Chess Ryu, your move, Ryu. Um, my move was rook take g7, because um, if that plays, then just rook a1. I guess you can move the pieces, uh, just Ryu. Doesn't seem like I can. Really? Oh, okay, I, I, I can. I, I, I just, think you can, no? I Aha, just look. use my fingers to do Okay, okay. <laughs> no problem. Aha, nice. I mean, I have to take, right? There's nothing else to do here. Um, yeah, and then now I just win. Yeah, nice. Did you check any other uh, move order, Ryu? Uh, yeah, I mean, if, if I take on g7. Aha, for example, if you take on g7, what's the problem then? Uh, the, pro the problem is, um, let me play the moves here. No, but this is the solution, or, or you're confusing me now, Ryo. No, no, I don't know, no, no, rook g7. Oh, if you take twice, you mean? Yeah, 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 sure, yeah, sure, sorry, I, 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 I got it. Yeah, yeah, Aha. Take twice, a7. Exactly. F2. Aha, you're right. Uh, That's what some people missed here. Like Sprite Ball, JD Beast, Angel, Chess Knight, and Robo. You missed this trick that Ryu is explaining. 8 equals rock. Aha, exactly. And, the... and you got it. So that was an evil trick that Black had prepared in this game, but okay, White didn't fall into it and they, they won the game. Or Rook A1 before A4. Yeah, they, these are interchangeable, uh, Chess Knight. You can also, if you feel like, like that, you can, of course, give the check first if that feels better. I guess it's very much the same thing. So that's right. And the other move order, which we cannot use, of course, is a7, because in that case, as you can see, rook a1 is coming. So we need to first uh, el eliminate this rook from the board, else, I mean, so that they cannot protect the rook on a1. So that's why we have to take first. And just like Ryu is saying, we should take first and then play a7. 
uh, that's it. Great work by Ryo and all other people who found it. Um, I would say that it's easy when you see this. When what when you're sitting there with the clock ticking, you're in the on down to one minute. Uh, not so easy to see these uh, tactical tricks. It's easy to miss this uh, uh, this little trick that Black has. So only right solution here. Take like Ryo saying, take first so that they don't have rook a1 anymore, and then we play a7. But in this way, because now, as you can see, we will check with... Uh, we will queen with check, I mean. So this trick is, all, unfortunately, unavailable for black, because here, on the other hand, like you can see, we're taking on g7, so their king is now not checked when we queen. And that's why the black trick works with f2 or rook a1. Yeah. All um, right. The next one I want to add, I need to add a student. So you can add right now, Greg. I'll pick the next exercise, and you Sorry. can add somebody if you like. One second. Okay. So good work. Uh, good work by everybody. So far, we have seen a little about, let's say, tactics to win a piece. We saw how to use tactics in the end game. But I also wanted to show you something about move orders in a defensive situation. So here is our next example. Let's see if we can bring this up. Um, it's about defense this time. Be careful. Here we are. I'll give you on this one. It's with the black pieces. So let's flip the board. No, it's the white pieces. Sorry, sorry. I'm confused. It's the white pieces, definitely. So I'll give you for this one two minutes because I don't think it's that trivial. Um, and you have to play out the whole variation. It's very, very important that you get the move order right from the very beginning. If you get it right, the rest will not be that difficult. But please check very, very carefully the move order. Remember that white is in some material disadvantage in this variation. Maybe it's a little long, my variation, but I think the last moves are pretty intuitive. So I think you will find it. So maybe should I give you two minutes on this one? Two, three minutes, okay. Yeah, so that you can relax a little and think about it carefully. Three minutes. Uh, oh, equal material, sorry. Good luck, everyone. Why to play and win? Eight moves you have to give me here. Careful, Don't, not that quickly, Tori Chess. That's one of the candidate moves, but uh, how do you know that you should play it right now? Careful, careful, please. No, white doesn't win. It, it doesn't matter, Chess Ryu, actually. Uh, you should just find the best continuation. Uh, no information regards uh, winning, drawing, or losing. Uh, just try to make the best out of it, okay? Mm -hmm. Your mic is unmuted, dude. So take your time. Don't send me any moves until we're down to one minute here, because you need to work out those variations. Oh, Ryo, you were very, very close. Great work, anyway. Great work. Yeah, you failed on move six. It was not easy, of course, so many moves, but you definitely got the, got it right. So at the game, at the board, I mean, you would find the right solution. Okay, pawn sacrifice, you got at least move one. Uh, mega charge, you got on, up to move two. Then you were very... Henry Arsord, you got it until move eight. Wow, that's fantastic. So Henry, you're the winner here on this one, definitely. Uh, maybe your last move is okay also. I just thought that was an easier move. We will listen to Henry Arsord on this one because... I think this is the only person who got it. Oh, you have a, we have a winner here? Okay, we have winners. Sprite Titan Chess, Jake, 2021, and Jay the Beast. Oh, all of you got it. Sorry, sorry. Great work. You took your time and you found it. Excellent work. Okay. Sprite Paul, I'll give you the move. You're the first one to find it. So please go ahead, Sprite Paul. All right, so here, Rook takes E5. Okay, I'm, I hope you can play out the moves. Yes, I can. Okay, so I must take back, I guess. Yep. And then knight h6. Aha, here we can see that by playing knight h6 on move 2, uh, there are no, the queen is not hanging. I mean, I cannot take. It's, sorry, uh, Sprite, but just so that everybody understands. You cannot play knight h6 on move 1, right? Bad bad move order, because I will take. And yeah, you cannot take back, because I'll take your queen. I don't know what I'm missing. Bishop takes, and I can go back with the bishop, so... Uh, yeah, this is not th that nice for white. Uh, black is having uh, equal material, but uh, their king is very weak here on... on Oh, queen h6 says uh, Titan chess. 
Can you take with it queen also on h6? Oh, maybe. Yeah, yeah, I didn't think about that. Okay, okay. Uh, maybe that's also possible. Okay. Looks possible also. Yeah, take on, on b2 and... No, not take on b2, no. Play something else. Take on e1. I don't know. I got confused here. <laughs> but okay, this is not necessary, guys. The other solution is simpler. Anyway, sorry, uh, Sprite Ball. We're getting uh, sidetracked here. Let's go back to your solution. So, knight h6 fails for multiple reasons. Sorry, please uh, please go ahead, Sprite Ball. I'll give you the pony again. Okay, please. So, but take c5. Uh Bishop takes c5, and now knight h6 works. Uh -huh. Right. So let's check here two variations. Let's start with this one, okay? That's the main variation. So now queen f5. Uh, exactly. Four. So now we have double threat. I'm basically forced to play here queen g6. Uh, bishop takes c5. Aha. Uh -huh. And now you're the change. I mean, you're already ahead in material. You're the change down, but you have like three pawns. So it's already a very promising situation for you. And now you take back with the rook. Yeah, def with definitely. Bishop. So I'll play something like this. Else I'm just uh, worse, right? I, I must try to uh, to fight against your pieces. I mean, somehow try to get some tactical compensation. Okay, please continue, Henry. Oh, sorry, Sprite Paul. All right, so here White has rook takes f7. Uh, sure. So uh, only move, I think. Yeah. The bishop with the knight. Aha. Uh -huh. So I must play king. I mean, I'm, I'm just trying to explain that I'm in trouble here. Black is in trouble. So I'm trying to fight against you but by tactical means. And that's the last move. So sorry, Henry. Henry was saying here, uh, knight h8. But I think that's not a good idea. I think your pieces will be in trouble here. Or, or am I mistaken? Or maybe your move is OK. Yeah, I think uh, that's OK also, knight h8. Yeah, I, I can give you half a point for that. I don't know. King f5 and some trick with rook e2. Maybe you should avoid this, uh, Henry. Uh, so I think actually what uh, tight, uh, Sprite Ball says is better, 96. That looks safer, in my opinion. So Rook takes and yeah, you don't have to see all these moves. <laughs> this would be okay, no? Knight takes and Rook check, but uh, yeah, White. Uh, I think White can fight for a draw here with Knight B6. Or what do you think, uh, Sprite Ball? Yeah, I mean it's probably at least a draw here because there's past pawns so with the king side as well as extra pawns. Exactly, so. we have these pawns also and not so many pawns on the board. So great uh, work. Uh, congratulations, uh, Sprite Paul. That's excellent work. I think we should go back and check very quickly what's going on here because it's a complex position. Some people are saying knight h6. Some people are saying bishop e5. Some people are saying rook e5. So we have these three uh, variations, these three options, I mean, but we have to find the right move order. OK, we just saw that knight h6 is bad for several reasons, uh, queen takes and so on. So also, we could, of course, consider to take with a bishop on e5. However, in that case, as you can see, black would take with check. So we're not in time to play knight h6 ourselves here. So we're losing material. So the right move has to be uh, this move that, uh, that we're discussing, rook takes e5. And here I took back with the bishop and we played knight h6. The other variation that we have to check, it's actually what I played in the game because it's one of my games. And I thought I was winning, but then I checked with the engine and I noticed that it wasn't winning. I played king h8 in the game. So I don't know if you're still there, uh, Sprite Paul. You can now play with white here. What would you play with white? Here uh, my opponent made a mistake, but I'm sure you won't make a mistake. But he made a mistake and lost the game. <laughs> but you won't make a mistake. Or should I make this as a quiz? Maybe all of you would like to solve this one. So, okay, I'll do it as a quiz instead, okay? Let's do it, but only one minute because it's it's rather simple. Or 125, okay? So, try to find a way which white will get the upper hand here, okay? Get the upper hand with white. Here we go. So quickly, Greg Shahid. I'm afraid, Greg, that's what they played in the game. Okay, Egmo, good work. Uh, Chess Ryo, uh, good work. There must be some confusion here. Okay, we'll see. Pawn sacrifice. Uh, okay, Ryo, we will go back to your variation. Let's do this in order, okay? So, uh, Egmo, Chess Ryo, Jay the Beast, Jake, Tori Chess, good work, everyone. Excellent work. We have some people who got it wrong, I I'm afraid. Um, but okay. Majority has uh, solved it. So, Google, Google Chess, great work also. Mega Charles Rex, you got it. Sprite Ball, okay. You got it again. That's great. An Angel G, 2019. You got it as well. 
All right, this was very easy for you. Maybe I should cancel the, the quiz, right? Because most people already answered. Yeah, I think so. I, I, I will cancel because you have so much people found it. So Titan Chess has another uh, explanation here. No, you're missing something, Titan Chess, I'm afraid. Let's see. Uh, okay, so Egmo, you were the fastest one. I'll give you the move here. Okay, Egmo, please go ahead, execute. All right. All right, so the move is... Um, no, not knight takes f2. Bishop takes e5 first, <laughs> excuse me. No, but no problem, but since you yeah. played it, like, maybe we can look at this also because some people are asking, yeah. why doesn't this work? Okay, Did you well, notice the difference? Yeah, the problem is king g8. Exactly. But believe it or not, I did find this in the game, and I won in the end. As you can see, there is a problem for white if they take. I'm, I'm having my own little plans here to swap the queens and end up with an extra rook. So that's why you cannot play like that. Okay, uh, now you can do it, Egmo. Okay. I, can you move the pieces? or? Oh, uh, no, I can't. So you can't. Yeah, no problem. I'll fix that. So is that the move the is right bishop takes e5 first, and uh -huh. black takes on e5 if he doesn't want to lose material, and you take exactly. on f7. So and here we can see so, take sorry, an e5 with a tempo. Exactly, and, and we cover the mate. So I have to take, and now it's easy, no? I just, I just go queen h5 and mate you. Exactly, know? and you pick up the rook with check, so I can't mate you. And you will probably mate me instead, I guess. Here, I don't know if I play king g8. I feel like I'm getting mated. Uh, yeah, we can we can check that just for the sake of uh, simplicity. See how white is mating here. Exactly. Or you can take the queen, perhaps. That's also possible. So, yeah, great work. Okay, I I'll let you mate me, <laughs> just for the sake of clarity. Exactly. So you can see, guys, this is not so simple. It's not so simple. It's easy to miss a move like king g8. I mean, black has king g8. Okay, thanks, Egmo. Great work. We have king g8 in both variations. However, uh, in the variation that Egmo is showing, it simply doesn't work because we did the move order in the right way. But if we do the move order in the wrong way, I mean, starting with knight takes, rook takes, that's unfortunately what my opponent did in the game. And I was very lucky to play king g8 and win the game because if rook takes, if I'm not mistaken, the easiest path to the win is just to swap queens. And Well, that's what I would play at least. I think that's what I played also. However, now we should go back. We should go back because there was some other stuff also coming up here. Uh, somebody else was saying some other variation or maybe we just, we got it. Uh, Ryu had, yeah, that was it, Ryu. Okay, Ryu, please let me know. What is your question? Something with bishop takes d6, you're saying? Yeah, so when, when you play rook takes f7 check, or if you want check... Okay, you let's see if I can get this again. Rook takes e5, right? Rook takes e5. Now I will have to execute this. Oh, that's too bad. Let's see if I can do it. <laughs> Knight h6, it was king h7, queen f5, queen g6, correct me if I'm wrong. Bishop takes, queen takes, rook takes, bishop c... Eight. Uh, notice I'm doing this by myself. I'm not uh, cheating here. Rook takes f7, right? So far, it's so good, Ryo? No, bishop d6, bishop d6, not rook f7. Oh, you have another move here. Here, bishop d6, I forgot that. Bishop d6, all right. My first question I will take here. I'm taking a rook. You take my rook, and yeah. I'll attack on this side. Did you check this, Ryo? I I'm King worried G3, here. King g3. King g3, and what I if I just... Working. You think you can hold it? I'm not so. I'm not so sure. Let's see. But Knight maybe you're. Five? Maybe you're right. Yeah. Oh, but you have. A, oh, I just, three, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I have three. I can just sack my bishop otherwise. Yeah, I was hoping to avoid that, but okay. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see if I can play this in a better way. I give check. Okay, I should probably secure my bishop then, like this, right? But I, I think you're right. Yeah, you should be able to make a draw here, right? Somehow you, you make a draw here by... Bishop c5 and... Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, you have a lot of pawns. B3, so. B3, B3, B3. Oh, wait, my bishop's hand. Bishop a3 then. Yeah, I think I'm holding. Yeah, I think so. We have some people... Okay, bye, Greg. Uh, have a nice one. Wait, can't you play bishop takes a3 and then rook takes f8? Oh, for black, you mean. But this, just to finish off this, I think Ryo is, is right here. White has a lot of pawns. They shouldn't lose this, uh, this position. They will suffer a little, perhaps, but most probably you can save it. Yeah, you're right. Uh, so compared to the other variation, maybe it's a very slight dif difference. Yeah, maybe you're right. Um, I don't know, but from a practical perspective, perhaps the other one is easier. But okay, okay. Uh, fair to say, this looks uh, holdable with, with the white pieces. Uh, definitely. You know what I would like to play here, Ryo? But okay, I didn't calculate, but it won't work. I was hoping to play something like this. But yeah, it's the same thing. Yeah, You can just play a3 and you take on... Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's silly to play like this. You also have fast pawns, so... Yeah, yeah, it doesn't work, really. Uh, sorry, can't you play bishop h3 first? Uh, oh, here it says Google says take on h3, but... I don't think you can play bishop takes h3 here. Or, or, 
Oh, okay, okay, I understand. But I don't really want that pawn. I mean, now Ryu has a lot of pawns here. <laughs> I don't like this. I want to have that that pawn instead. That's my uh, my how is it my prior priority here. So, one last uh, look here. If I play this and I play King G6, is that better? Or I run into some tactics here. What do you say, Ryu? You will just take the pawn and. But I was looking to take that pawn. I think yeah. I can still torture you here a little, don't you think? Or, um, or it's just. I'm, I'm gonna take on a five. I'm gonna take on C5. Okay. And then I'm gonna play Bishop D4, I guess. But D4 looks unpleasant, don't you think? Or, or you mean this is some kind of fortress with? Yeah, probably you're right, yeah. Uh, Ryo. Yeah, I, I think I will never be able to win this. Yeah, yeah, you're right. If you like this better, okay, uh, no problem. Anyway, this is we're into some detail. King takes e5 in says a Titan chess. It seems that we will never finish this example. Uh, King takes e5. Yeah, maybe you're right. Titan chess. You create a passed pawn also. Yeah, good point. You got it because this pawn we can take it later. Yeah, maybe Ryo, you're still in some slight trouble here. Um, I don't know, but not not much. No, it not should much. be it should be a Yeah, it should be okay. You have two pawns. Maybe play a3 first just to secure th this pawn and. Yeah, let's bring in the king. Yeah, you cannot play rook d2, right? So, yeah, you have you have two pawns for the exchange, so it should be possible to hold this. But okay, slightly, just slightly uncomfortable with with the black pieces here. Slightly, f5 maybe, but okay. Let's leave this one to continue. It was a very difficult exercise. I'm happy that so many of you got it right. So basically, we have these three ideas: the bishop takes e5, knight h6, and rook takes e5. Only one way of playing works. So we have to start with this, I would say, anti-intuitive move, uh, rook takes e5. Not so easy to see this. And especially the idea that now, instead of taking on f7, which would be some kind of idea, we have this idea of queen f5 and bishop takes e5. Not so easy, but OK, this was the only way out. So I think it still makes sense to work on exercises like this, where you have one single choice. All right, I'll bring up something, I think, slightly simpler. But uh, OK. Uh, not that simple. Let's see here. Uh, this game between Onishuk and Popovic in this game. Let's see. Uh, here we are. So we have this. We have this position. We have some noise there. Okay, I will mute everyone. So we have this position. You will soon see the ideas, but I would like you to check very carefully the move order here. Don't send me moves in 10 seconds. Please check the move order. It's not that simple. You will very, very soon see what this is about, but I can assure you that you will need to perform this in the right move order, else it simply won't work, okay? So let's see. I'll just feed in the moves, and that's... Let's see. It's a little long, but okay. You will get it. You will get it. No, no problem. All right, here we go. I'll give you for this mission uh, two minutes 30, okay? Why to play and yeah, do the best you can. Try to get some advantage there, hopefully. Please check carefully the move order. Okay, Egmo, great work, you got it. So quickly, only like one minute. Nice, or, or even less. You'll see, Ryo. Sometimes I think you can ask, uh, you can reply yourself to. Oh, you were I was calculating while you were talking. Okay, very clever. Uh huh. Okay, Robo, you got it. Yeah, I'll let you talk. Uh, we will be democratic, and uh, those who haven't uh, spoken and uh, got the right answer, they will reply. So, what's up here? Egmo and Robo, you got it. Mega Charles Rex, you were very, very close. Very close. Uh, Tori Chess, you got the right first move. Uh, Titan Chess, you got the first right move also. Okay. Yeah, Tori Chess, you're right. Uh, what you're saying to me, that's that's completely right. Yeah, but that's why you have more time, no? Try to spend all the time and you will find the right way in the end. Okay, Sprite Ball, you got it. Hong Pao, another winner. That's excellent. I have seen this one before. Okay, that's possible. I think it was in the Chess Informant. You can probably find it in the Chess Informant. Uh, a lot of nice stuff in the chess informant, by the way. Fantastic uh, publication. If it's democratic, then we aren't supposed to vote for who speaks. Yeah, but I'm interested in having everybody speaking. I don't want to have the same person speaking all the time. I would like to have some variety. So that's what I mean with democracy. All right. So we had uh, totally how many winners? Egmo, Robo, Sprite Paul, Hong Pao, and Troy Boy. Great work, all of you. Let's listen to Robo. All right, Robo. It's your move. 
So here we first take on a C6. Okay. You can play the moves, I hope. You can move the pieces. Yeah, exactly. So I'm forced to take back. <coughs> So now the point is we take on c6. Aha, and now I, I must take with the queen unless I, I guess I lose my knight, so queen takes. Okay, you can continue, Robo. Now rook e6. Yeah, many threats at the same time. This is becoming very dangerous for black. I am forced to play here rook d1 check, counterattack. So here you could actually get back the piece immediately. But you shouldn't, exactly. So, okay, but we can check the variations later on. So this is much smarter. Now my only way to save the rook would be to go back with the rook. Is it winning too? I don't think so, Mega Charles Rex. I don't think so. <coughs> we will look at that. But let me first finish this variation, okay? The point is, on e5, uh, now this rook is protected. Exactly. The white is winning. Aha, so white is now two points up and they will win. Okay, thanks. Uh, Robo, great work. So now let's check the sub variations here. We will go back and we will go one by one. So some people were saying, why don't we just take on d1? Well, after queen takes, queen takes a4, if I'm not mistaken, black is having a perpetual here. No, or maybe it's not a perpetual. Oh, I see what you mean. It's not a perpetual. Oh, okay, you can get out the king. So this is not a perpetual, but it must give black some, at least some counterplay, right? I don't know, if I play queen d3, king e1, queen e4, now I'm playing here alone, but okay. Uh, is this so convincing for white? I don't think so. I mean, at least if I compare it with uh, Robo's variation, this looks much more difficult. Or did I miss something? I don't see it as simple. No, I know white is two points up and there is a mating threat here, but okay, black is giving a lot of checks. So I don't think it's convincing, really. So... Uh, I think it's pretty simple. What was simple here, Mega Charles Rex? Uh, okay, Mega Charles Rex, you can you can move the the white pieces then. I'll give you the pieces. Or, okay, so you want to take? I'll take. Let's see. Okay, so this is by the way, Mega Mega Charles Rex is playing with white pieces here, and I'm trying to defend black's pieces. Okay, Mega. Where to put my queen? Maybe here? Is that possible? Okay, king c1. You are going to cover with the queen here, I guess. Oh, okay. So maybe you're right. This is good winning chances for white. But okay, let's see. I just have to avoid the exchange of queens. I know that's not good for me. So if I give check on c3, you play queen c2. I play queen d1. I don't see this clearly. Let's see, let's see. Let's see what you have in mind here. Because if you put queen c2, okay, king b1, says Egmo. Uh, unnecessary, says Ryo. Yeah, I think so. Queen c2, says Sprite Ball also. Queen c2, queen a1. Oh, queen a1. I was going to give check here. Isn't that a good check? I thought I could pick up this pawn with check. What, what do you think? Oh, sorry, sorry. I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I cannot take because, because you swap queens. Yeah, yeah, good point. So maybe I should play queen a1 instead then. Oh, I see what you mean. All right. I don't know what's going on here. You play king d2 then, I guess. And I play queen d4 and you play king e2. And most probably you're close to winning anyway. Yeah, you're probably right. No, we have two extra pawns. So it's it's okay for white to lose one of them, most probably, no? So I guess this is also possible then. But still, we should be practical. If you have one variation which is more practical than the other one, well, assume you're in time travel. You're not sitting in front of the computer and playing out the pieces like we're doing right now. So it's better to be practical. So if we go back from the very beginning again, okay, it's, it was possible to take, but it's much cleaner to play in this way. Let's check again so that everybody understands. Taking on c6 is not a good idea because I can then take back. And once you take on e6, there is a problem, right? You got it, Egmo. Aha, uh -huh. that's the little difference now. As you can see, this doesn't happen in our main variation. Why doesn't it happen? Well, because the queen is attacked. Okay, that's the first difference to understand here. Rook e8, and I can just take on c7. So that's why we have to play first the move knight takes e6. So as to force black to take back, they don't have flexibility with rook takes. Here, after pawn takes, now we should not take on e6 because here black can defend with queen f7, right? This is not so clear. Hey, Google chess is saying something. You want to say something, Google chess? Intermezzo, who is 
Can you take on C6 first? Uh, Google chess, you can move the pieces if you like. Uh, what do you want to play? I take uh, back, uh, I mean, I play queen f7, what do you want to play? Or that was not what you wanted to play? Um, not there. I oh, think. not there, okay. I, I, I'm listening to you. In the starting position. Yeah, sure, here we are. So how do you want to play? I don't follow 100%. You take on c6, okay, I'll take with the queen. And I don't follow. Yeah, and rook e8. Oh. So that's what I'm saying. You cannot play like that, I guess. Um, so I think it's the only way to play the way that we're investigating here. First, knight takes e6, committing them to take. Then don't take on e6 because they can play queen f7. I know we can get a few pawns on the queen side, but that's not that. Titan chess, can I say something? Sure, Titan chess, of course. Be my guest. Uh, I was going to say that instead of queen e6, you could just take with the rook, and I didn't see a way to stop rook e8 checkmate or the other threat is to take the bishop and then take the knight. And Here the you mean, rook, rook takes e6? Yeah. But okay, there is some tactics maybe. What, what about queen f7? I, I don't follow. Why? What? I mean, I'm also attacking your rook, right? Or... Uh, you cannot take and take. We can take six. Oh, you take with a rook, you mean? Oh, but that's uh, that's a funny variation. Okay, but what if I take and I give check on b1 and your pawns are falling off also? Or am I missing something here? I mean, yeah, to take. After. I would first give check, I guess, so that I'm yeah, displacing your your, right your bishop and, and I take here. Oh, so right. you want to play this end game, really? But well, I don't know. Rook b1. At least I'm not lost. Uh, or rook a1 maybe, rook a1 first, maybe one pawn will fall off. Oh, this is complex tactics now. Rook a1, a5, rook b1, king g2, rook takes b4, bishop takes a6, rook a4, bishop b7. I get that pawn, right? Or am I missing some intermediate move here? Yeah, this, yeah, might, it, this might turn into it's a draw. draw. I think. It's a draw, like you're saying here. It's probably a draw. If, if I get this right, it, it will end in a draw. I will play this move, and you will play this one, and I will take here, and it will end like this. And yeah, we can shake hands here. So I don't think it's necessary, right? Yeah, I guess not. I guess not. And also there was another interesting variation. Anyway, thanks for your comment. Uh, good point. Uh, this movie is also very, very interesting. I think only Ray was speaking about this. I thought some other people would say it also. It's an interesting idea because if takes, I guess knight takes and there is no good reply for, for black here because they will take on the eight with check. Um, however, there is a problem. You spotted it, uh, Rayo, right? You noticed. I can, uh, you can speak, uh, Rayo, if you like. Uh, so what I miss is bishop g2. Aha, exactly. <laughs> nice intermediate move. So now if king takes... Oh, I have, another, I, have another, I have another move instead of that. Can I play queen takes c4? Just wondering. Okay, just to, just to finish off so that everybody understands. Yeah, I just uh, wanted to show that. Yeah, c6, c6, now queen c6 check. Again. Exactly, now there is an intermediate check, yeah. right? So that, that's was okay. queen takes a4. Sure, sure, we will look at your question. So if you take on a4, this is highly yeah. illogical because you were working on this diagonal, but okay. Uh, maybe it can work. Isn't there some kind of, um, how do you say, lifeline there? Queen d7, or that is not enough for me. Queen I mean, d7 I... is queen takes d7. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay, I see what you mean. Yeah, maybe a... I come here and I dominate your knight, or you can, it no. can get out? Queen c6, no. queen b3. Queen e, d5, knight takes d8. But then I take on b3, you take on c6. I see what you mean. Okay. And that might be trapped. Yeah, 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 sure. So, but but I'm, I'm pretty sure there is something here, Ryo. I'm, I'm pretty sure. I might be mistaken, but it smells like I have something here. Well, let's see here. <laughs> Queen, Queen to 7 says JD Beast. Yeah, that's what I mean, the lifeline. But here, white would take and take. This is not so hard to judge. But okay, can I be worse here? Just bring in the king. And you're not worse at that. No, I'm better here, I'm not I think. Better. I'm not because better the rook is, is very active. So I'm afraid that the only real solution here is to play what we have been checking here. But I mean, at least the Biden's most. Not losing. At least... No, he's not losing, but the idea was, was to try to win the game. So uh, how about queen c6, queen b3, rook d5? But, but that's, yeah, that's also interesting argument. You're right. But maybe we should focus on this uh, exercise still and try to move on. So we are just concluding here that we should take first on e6, then we should take on c6. Then we should take on e6, black plays rook d1, and here we had this issue with queen takes d1. So we just saw the solution in rook e1, and then white some, some finally pick up, the, gets the two extra pawns. So I was just curious again by this variation, queen takes, what we were checking. Now, how was it? Queen takes, queen takes, queen takes e4. I cannot believe that we cannot make a draw here, but I guess that's, that's uh, the case, right? There is no draw here. If I give check here, is that any difference? Or it, no difference? I mean, I gave check there. If I give check here... You just walk in the king. This is who was 
Who was showing this variation? Somebody was showing this variation. No way I can make a draw here, right? You always get in the king and... Yeah, how about king g1? Oh, you can play king g1 and you sidestep the checks. Yeah, 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 good point, good point. So I must give the check on, on d3 then and you play king e1. I see what you mean. Yeah, maybe this also works. Yeah, entirely possible. How ah, Mega Charles Rex works. Okay, so great uh, discovery by Mega Charles Rex. You have a very good point there. Let's uh, bring up something else. I wanted to show you an endgame also. We had one endgame, but here is another one, which I think is very pretty, this endgame. Let's see. No, this we already saw. Sorry. I'll bring up the one that I was speaking about. Uh, because in the end games, also in the chess studies, uh, this is very important. In chess studies, if you like to solve chess studies, you will notice that move orders is extremely important. So this is not a chess study, it's actually a real game, uh, but I wanted to show you uh, because it's very similar to, it's very beautiful, the, the solution here. So we have this position here. If you look carefully, you see we have one passer here and we have another passer there. But white has a bishop for two pawns, so they should have some chances of a draw. Anyway, if you play this correctly, you will win, and that's your mission here. But please notice, you have to be very, very careful with the move order. It's not that simple, okay? But you only need to play here against me this time four moves. I will, I will do with four moves. Okay, 2.30. Good luck, everyone. Try to find the only right move order to win this endgame with the black pieces. Not that fast, Egmo Robo. Take your time. How can you send me that quickly? Oh, too too fast. But okay, we will check your move. Maybe it's working also. Maybe you found a second solution here. I I wouldn't uh, doubt it. <laughs> but I might I might may have some trick there. You see, I might have a little trick. Aha, Egmo. But so fast. Tori Chess, you got the right first move, but uh, you, you also send too quickly your answers. Take your time, take your time. This is not so simple. Oh, a lot of people play that. Oh, I see. I'm afraid I have a solution to that move, guys. I'm afraid there is a solution. Oh, what a pity. You were so close. Oh, so much people are saying that move. Oh, I'm sorry. Chess Knight and Hong Pao, you have the right idea, but it's unfortunately, it's not well executed. So, Tori Chess, Awesome, Owen and Sprite Ball, at least you got move one, but you fail on move two. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Who was playing this game, by the way? Let's see. Oh, so actually, it's a grandmaster here, Shemanov, with the black pieces. And uh, he unfortunately mixed up the move order and it was a draw. But he could have won this game. All right, so what should we do here? Nobody's really close. Too bad. Um, let's uh, check the move that you're saying. Everybody's saying here the move G3. I understand your idea. It's a great idea. You will, I will take on f5 and you will play h3 and I have to take and you will play g2 and then you will run with this pawn and you will win. I get the point. Yeah, it's a nice thing that you're also queening with check, right? Unfortunately, I don't have to be that cooperative. I can keep my king here. It's more important for me to eliminate. I mean, I don't want this pawn. I want that pawn. So anyone, what would white play here? You can send me the move. Uh, I was not. Yeah, exactly. Egmo, chess knight. You're right. I'll play bishop f6. So this is a very smart move because now, as you can see, I don't have the problem with this pawn running away. If you play h3, I can just take it. Yeah, then I'll take care of that pawn with my king and I'll take care of that one with the bishop. So, yeah, what a pity. Um, what else can I say? 
uh, yeah, you can play B4 if you like, but okay, I'll take this one and I will come back and I will play for a win now. So don't don't play that, please. I'm afraid it was not the right choice. What do you think? Should we do it again? What if we do it again simply because nobody was really close? So I do it again. Yeah, okay. Let's do it then. I have the right position. Yeah. So let's do this again. Let's do another try here. Uh, but careful with the move order, guys. Careful, please. It's not that simple. If the grandmaster didn't see it, you can bet it was not that simple. All right, here we go. So quickly, Google says, that's what the grandmaster played. So I can congratulate you because you found the grandmaster's move, but you didn't win the game. <laughs> yeah, he's 2650, something like that. So he's a very strong player, but uh, yeah. Oh, why is it so difficult? If you play like that, uh, Egmo, Pawn Sacrifice, Titan Chess, I think I can cope with that one. Spite Paul, we have a winner! Bravo! That's good news. I hate it when nobody finds it. Great. Maybe we should do it again. No, because we already have a winner here. Oh, by elimination. But that's how it works, right? Elimination. That's what we're doing here. We are eliminating the moves one by one. Only one winner here. Only Sprite Paul got this one. Okay. Uh, some people found it that, yeah. You got it wrong first time. Yeah. Well, it's a difficult case. Let's see if somebody else can find it. We still have one minute left. Uh, let's see, Egmo, your variation here. Uh, King d5. For B3. Well, good question. Uh, I'm not completely convinced. Maybe I don't have to go to... I think I can use my king in a more clever way. Uh, who is it this? Uh, who, who was asking? Egmo, Egmo. I will use my king in a more clever way, you know. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I'll tell you, Sprite Paul. I'll tell you. Aha, correct, Egmo. That's it. You got it. Hong Pao, we have another winner. Bravo. Great work. But this was a difficult one. Don't you think it's funny? Less pieces on the board and more difficult. <laughs> That's what some people say. They cannot understand why endgames are so difficult. But they are. Aha, uh -huh. all right. Uh, what else here? Some people got it. Tori Chess, you got move one. Um... Awesome Owen, you got move one. Angel G got move one. Egmo got move one and so on. All right, time's up. So, Sprite Paul, I guess you should uh, explain this because you were one of the very few people who got it. So, Sprite Paul, Sprite Paul. Let's see here. Yeah, you have the... No, it's the... Yeah, it's the white one. Okay, please go ahead, Sprite Paul. No, I mean with the black pieces, sorry. Uh, <laughs> I gave you the white one. Okay, sorry. Oh, Okay. We're ready. All right, so B4 first is good. Sure. Uh, because G3 didn't work. Um, uh -huh. Now, um, black black can try H3, but it doesn't work. Like, if H3, Yeah, why, why doesn't it work? Uh, I think after ta white takes the pawn, and sure. then we capture the pawn with here, king E4. Uh, well, you are black, by the way, so I'll give you back the black pawn. Yeah, so uh -huh. here, here white has king E4. Exactly. Some people were saying probably King G4, and they noticed that if H, sorry, if H2, how, how is the version? I, I got confused myself here. King D5 wins for black, I think. King D5 wins, yeah, exactly. So the bishop is now kind of tied up. It cannot decide which diagonal to use. So, yeah, white is kind of sidestepped here. So bishop G3 and B3, and yeah, it's it's bye-bye. However, like you're saying, white will play King E4 instead. Where is Sprite Paul? Here. So in this way, I'm waiting for them to play B3 so I can get into the square, so to speak. And if you play, obviously, yeah, you don't have king d5. I guess that's the best explanation why this works. So if you push the pawn, I can take and I can come back. So for that reason, just like you're saying, uh, this is not working. We have this nice move, king e4. So, uh, sorry, uh, Sprite Paul, back to you. Back to you. Um, right, so instead of h3, we play king d5 first. Yeah, wh wh why did it... Uh, I'm, uh, I'm not... Let me just finish the... 
what happened here? I, I, sorry, I will re reload. Uh, so give me one moment here. I will reload the whole exercise because uh, something happened here with the position. Let's see here. Something happened. I think it's because, uh, yeah, I I misclicked something. Okay, here we go. Sorry. Um, save. Did it, no, 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 not save, not save, not save. Something. Uh, one moment, technical issues here. Give me one moment, please. Import, paste. Yeah, now, pl please, uh, Sprite Paul, you, you can now move the pieces, I think. Okay, now we go for it, yeah. Okay, so not h3, but king d5, so we play now. Nice, nice. So that's the nice move, you see? Now I cannot take the pawn, the bishop is hanging. And I don't have any other move here. I mean, if I play, let's say, bishop f6. Uh, now we can play h3. Of course, yeah, and, and I think you can win by both moves here, right? You can either, but you can take it, that's more natural. Yeah, so I'm sidestepped here, but we have to use exactly this move order. We must start with, why not king d5 on the first move? Yeah, good question. If you play king d5 on the first move, what is then the difference? Now I take, uh, no, then it would transpose, right? So that's a possible, bishop f6 maybe, don't you think? Bishop f6, somehow this helps me because if you play h3, yeah, I think it's the same variation, uh, Hong Pao. It's the same variation. I, I will go for that pawn because I can cope with this one, right, with the king. So it won't work. You, you somehow need to, I don't know how to explain with words, but you have to let me take that pawn. If I can take any other pawn, I will make a draw here. So that's why it's so important to play b4 at the very beginning and once I take play this move, king d5. Now... I'm simply not able to to take, and uh, I cannot use the square either. Um, was this understandable, or it's very difficult to understand? We can go over it again if you like. Um, in the game, the grandmaster played king d5, but then white played bishop f6, like we were seeing here, and the game went exactly like that. Uh, and it's funny, this could almost uh, qualify for our underdog wins. It was an underdog draw, because the opponent was 600 elo points uh, lower rated. So it was a good draw for them. So the grandmaster tried to confuse the underdog, but uh, to no avail. Uh, <laughs> he didn't get confused. Yeah, we don't have to look at this, right? He played here the nice move, bishop d6. Clever move, just to put black in some kind of tzukzwang. And then it was a draw here with king g2. So, smart move, bishop d6. Yeah, this is not the Onishuk game. This is the Shimanov game. And I don't know who is with the white pieces. Shoshin with, with Elo 2080 and Shimanov is 2646, so you have a huge ALO gap there. So it was possible to win this, but it was not easy to, I mean, to say in defense of the Grandmaster, this was not easy at all. You have to see this move, King D5. So I would say, basically, when we're solving this kind of exercises, you see that it's like cooking, no? It's like in, you have different ingredients. We have this one, we have that one. Uh, okay, we can paint in this color, and we have that one. So we have three different moves, but you have to see the right order. Let's do one last one, okay? I'll put a simpler one. We're tired now, everybody, so let's do the last one for today. All right? Last one is coming up. Um, with that, we will end today. Let me check which is the nicest one. Yeah, we'll, we'll finish with this one. We will see here Paco Vallejo with the white pieces and Anderson. Not Adolf Anderson, no, by the way, but the Danish Grandmaster, Mats Anderson, with the black pieces. So I modified the position a little, but the idea is roughly the same thing. Here you're playing with the black pieces. You can see this is a complex position. You can see that both kings are very exposed. Mm -hmm. Material is equal, but this bishop is kind of hanging. Okay, I won't talk more because you're already starting to find a solution. So let's bring... Uh, wait, 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 wait. I'm getting a little tired here. You have to find the right move order. If you get the right move order, you will make it, okay? So just be a little careful and you will find it. All right, I guess that's it. World Cup. No, I think it's a Bundesliga. It's a German Bundesliga two years ago, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. All right, black to play and win, and I think there is only one right sequence. So take your time, guys, take your time. Don't send me the move before. No, no, no. Okay, Egmo, you guys. <laughs> okay, Egmo, only you can send me it so quickly. Nice. We have one winner, but uh, the rest of you take your time. Egmo is in very good shape today, so it's hard to, to beat him. Good work, JD Beast. Good work, Chess Rayo.
We have three winners here, Egmo, JD Beast and Ches Rayo. Titan Chess, excellent work, fourth winner. Jake, 2021, you're number five. Excellent work. We have some people who got it in the wrong move order. Don't play that Sprite Ball. That's not possible. You fell into my devilish trap. Kugel Chess, you got it. Okay, great. Unicorn and Mega Charge, that move is for later. Was this found in the game? I don't even remember Chesraya, to be honest with you. I I think somehow I, I mixed something. Yeah, yeah, he won the game. Black won the game. Something like this happened, but I changed some detail to make it more fun. E4 and wins. You got it. Great. Uh, may I talk, please? C can I talk, please? I'm sorry, I will pick you in strict order of uh, who found it first. So to th on this one, JD Beast will talk because JD Beast hasn't talked before. So this one is for JD Beast. Gr great work, Check Check Knight. Chess Knight, sorry. Robo, you also got it. Okay. Uh, anyone else? No. So time's up. Last exercise for today. You must You must be very tired. <laughs> I'm sorry. But okay, that's the way we improve in calculation. JD Beast, uh, be my guest, please. How do you play with black here? Okay, rook takes f4. I must take back. And then you can go check. Exactly. Now we give the check because now, yeah, I'll play king. Where do I go with the king? To e1, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, and then you can just give check and then take the rook. And then the oh, what important he... detail is that you can just block on b8 with anything. Exactly. That, that's correct. Nothing. Aha, correct. We have one question here. What if king e3 says Titan chess? What if king e3? Did, did you check that, um, Jay the Beast? King e3? Um, I mean... It's, you win the pawn ending, don't you? Yeah, yeah. I assume... You just, the you so just take just and then you give check somewhere and you pick up the rook, yeah. I guess, and it's, it's the win. Yeah. Aha, correct, Egmo, Mega Charles. Yeah. Okay, thanks, JDB. It's great work. Did you check other options here? What happens if you give the check immediately? Isn't that the same thing? Um, I mean, he could probably go rook d2, right? Maybe. Rook d2? That's a suspicious move. Yeah, it looks uh, weird. Yeah. Maybe but, there's a check or something. Maybe you're right. Yeah, I, I cannot see this clearly. Maybe you can play like that. Maybe maybe there's a check. It just looked check. obvious to do the other order first. Yeah, 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 I think so. And but but I mean, for me, the most simple explanation is here that I play king e one, and since you you cannot use the c one square now, uh, this is not as good because now if you take now, you're actually mated, right? If I'm not mistaken, it's mate with queen. Yeah, queen eight, 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 right? So it's important to take first so that you can give the check, let's say, in one single blow. Some people were saying here the move bishop takes f4, but that's not possible. Then it's just game over, I guess. And what else did people say here? Yeah, these are the only... Queen f5 is also a funny move. Did you check that one? I don't think you had time to check that. Uh, no, I didn't check it. No, of course, it's no time. But you have this funny move here, I think. Queen g3 It's a funny move because I have some idea with this that if you take, I can give mate on g7, I think, in the end. if you, I mean, if you take like this, I can take and... It's going to be made. So I think only your solution works. Um, only your solution is right. We should take first, commit them to take. Now, of course, they cannot use these moves. Uh, that was also important to see. That You also check that, of course. Uh, uh, Mega. JDB, who is it? JDB. Yeah, you check this also, of course. So uh, that's it. They have to take with the rook. And now we're happy to pick up that rook with check. And in the end, we can defend ourselves with bishop e8. I'm pretty sure this is the only way to, to make it work. There is no other way. So again, I would say that it's like kind of cooking. No, we have this one. We have that one. Maybe we have that one. You have to see the right order. It's not difficult to find the candidate moves, but you have to find out the right order. I think that on Tuesday, guys, we will do the last uh, session of this. I hope you enjoy this uh, topic. But maybe it's a bit tiring also. But I was thinking that next Tuesday we'll just finish this topic. Uh, I have some stuff left still for Tuesday. So thanks a lot, everyone. Uh, have a nice weekend and see you next Tuesday.